I was wondering why people that I've never met before <laughs> kept on bringing up Nikita and all the stuff Nikita did and or said to me and like why I'm not crying about it and they're like going crazy trying to rack their brains like oh why isn't like Chantal more upset and stuff and I was like I never liked Nikita <laughs> I don't know if it was obvious to anyone else but I actually hated her <laughs> I didn't want her anywhere near me and I don't think they got that so they actually thought that I was in love with Nikita but it was Nikita who was in love with me but I hated Nikita but they didn't get this so now they're like bringing up all this stuff that Nikita said which was just really mean if she said that to anybody anybody would have cried like it didn't have to be me specifically like if that kind of shit she did what she did to anyone else they would have responded the exact same way because it's really rude and offensive and mean and she's a complete creep she's a huge creep which is why she doesn't have any friends but they were like wondering why I'm not really upset about how Nikita doesn't want to be friends with me or doesn't want to be near me or like Nikita like hates me or whatever. I'm like, I don't like her. I know she was jealous of me the moment she met me and she for some reason thought that I wanted to be with her for the rest of my life. I don't know why she thought this. In fact, I've told her repeatedly that I don't like her and I want her out of my life. And she couldn't understand why she was being rejected, which is what led to her following me around and stalking me. And I'm like, do you know what you did? Like, if I took a camera and recorded every incident of you involving me and showed it to you, would you understand then what you did? Like, do you know how you come across to not just me, but to other people? Like, it just, to me, it's baffling. And I'm like, why would I want to be upset over something like that? It's just so creepy. <laughs> Like, it's really upsetting what they're saying and doing, but I don't personally care about them or the stuff that they're saying. It doesn't really affect my self-esteem or my perception of myself. But what they're saying is really, really inappropriate. And they don't really understand this because they're like Nikita, which is why they're siding with her, which is why they don't understand anything she doesn't understand because they're just like her. Like, they think exactly like her. Which they don't understand, they don't, can't grasp this idea, this reality that there's different types of people in life, in the world, there's, not everyone's exactly the same, everyone is a little bit different, right? Even if they may be internally the same, they look physically different. Or even if they look physically different, they might be internally the same. People have different personalities, they have different goals in life, people like different things, they have different preferences. It's, they have different experiences. There's so many things that are different for different people and there's different types of people out there. With her and people like her, they don't understand this. They think that people are like a robot. Like, they just, everyone's exactly the standard as the same thing and everyone responds exactly the same way and everyone who doesn't respond exactly like them are just hiding it and they're secretly just like them. I don't know why they think this way, but that's how they think. I think it's, considered a developmental disorder it used to be called autism but it's no longer considered autism it's not really a thing now they call it pervasive developmental disorder so what that really implies is that a person who thinks like that may have been acceptable at a earlier stage in their life so like if a five-year-old kid thinks like that i'm not too concerned because it's a five-year-old kid but if it was a 50 year old man who thought like that, I would be seriously concerned because that's not normal. Like he should have left that kind of thought behind years ago when he was five years old. And for some reason he couldn't be, he wasn't able to learn new things as he progressed in life, which to me, I'm like, how do you not understand that? Like you can observe it yourself, like these cause and effects in your life and other people's lives and how you go about living life, right? And you are utilizing tools that have been made possible due to progressive movements in society and by other people like for so for you to think that way it just doesn't make sense but anyway yeah that's pervasive developmental disorder a lot of people are autistic in fact there's the whole anti-discriminatory you have to hire autistic people and it doesn't matter if they're autistic or not like just make sure that like oh my god like you can't like discriminate against them because they're autistic like if they can do it then they can do it okay you can't just not hire them for a job if they need the job and just because they're autistic it doesn't really like i'm just i'm against that i don't think that's fair for anyone else i think that's like causing problems for other people but that's the whole thing
that's happening with the whole like even if somebody has a developmental disorder even if somebody has a mental illness you can't discriminate and you you should be hiring them for jobs they can still work and i'm like oh my god <laughs> so headache but yeah that's why people like her and they're like walking around but the thing is most people who've been diagnosed or or even if they're not diagnosed they are aware of this like they they know that they're not like other people like they know that okay this i'm not normal like that's normal and i'm not like that but that's fine for me that's like basically how a healthy human being would arrive at that conclusion for some reason they don't want to admit that and they start saying that everyone else is abnormal so they don't understand that they're not the normal ones they think they're the normal ones and everyone else who's not like them is the abnormal ones which becomes a problem but yeah that's what they're like and it's like it's bad enough that they're already retarded right they're autistic but it's like even worse that they have all these like psychological issues that come from the fact that they can't admit the reality of who they are it's like okay you know there's other people who have the same problem as you who have developmental disorders and they don't go around walk they don't go walking around telling everyone that everyone else is autistic they're fine they're like okay i don't care like i understand that i'm autistic but you know what, that's not gonna, like, I'm not gonna let that get to me. Like, I'm not gonna, like, sit there and cry about it or blame other people for how my life turned out. Like, people don't do that, which is why the whole anti-discriminatory thing came about saying, like, not everybody is like that. Like, just because that person is like that doesn't mean they're all like that. Which I, I'm like, okay, fine, yeah, I get that, but it's like, oh my god. Yeah, I don't know why they're like that. This, honestly, this is, like, not just a mental illness, but this, like, a morbid with a bunch of other illnesses and I'm just like oh I'm not a psychiatrist <laughs> it's not my job to help them because it's like again I'm not a psychiatrist and also I don't like doing that kind of stuff I mean if I did something about it they would end up in the prison system I'd be like you can you go there <laughs> like I, I wouldn't like I'm not I'm not a nice person like I don't know why people think this way about me I'm not a Oh, kumbaya, let's hold hands and sing about unity and harmony and everything. Like, I, I'm not like that. <laughs> but people assume that. They, they meet me and they see me, they don't know anything about me. And they think, like, oh, she must be such a nice person. She must, she's, she must, like, love me and, like, have all my good intentions at heart. And I'm like, bitch, do I look like your mom? <laughs> I'm not like that. 